Personal Independence Payment, PIP, has replaced disability living allowance for people of working age. PIP is a benefit designed to help towards some of the extra costs arising from having a long-term health condition or disability, to help people lead full, active and independent lives. PIP is assessed on how a person's condition affects their daily life, not the condition they have. PIP assessments are carried out by assessors who are qualified health professionals. They are employed by an assessment provider, Capita, working on behalf of the Department for Communities. Sometimes an assessment report can be completed by using just the written information a person sends in, but most people will be invited to a face-to-face -face assessment. The assessor will ask questions about the person's circumstances, their health condition or disability, and how this affects their daily life. The assessment looks at the impact a person's condition has on their daily life and over a range of 12 activities. For each activity, there are a number of descriptors, each describing a varying level of ability to carry out the activity. The descriptors explain how much support and the type of support a person needs to do the activity. Information on each of the activities and descriptors can be found in part two of the PIP assessment guide, which you can find on NI Direct. For each of the 12 activities, the assessor will use evidence to choose one descriptor which best reflects the person's ability to carry out an activity. The assessor will always take into account whether the person needs to use aids or appliances and whether help is needed from another person or an assistance dog for the activity. The assessor will consider if the person can complete the activity safely, to an acceptable standard, repeatedly and in a reasonable time period on the majority of days. A case manager in the Department for Communities will then review the chosen descriptor and decide if the evidence supports this choice. Each descriptor has a point score and a person will receive a score for each activity. If a person scores between 8 and 11 for the daily living activities, they'll be awarded the standard rate if they score 12 or more, they'll be awarded the enhanced rate. This is the same for the mobility activities. Many people will be awarded the highest score for some activities and a lower score for others as the assessment measures how their health condition or disability affects them on a daily basis and isn't about the condition or disability itself. Because of this, people with the same condition may get different outcomes. For example, Mary scores full points when it comes to moving around due to significant hip pain, which increases over time and short distances. Therefore, the activity is not being completed to an acceptable standard in a timely manner, nor can it be completed repeatedly. When it comes to preparing food, Mary has scored two points from a potential eight, as hip pain means she can't stand for longer than 10 minutes. However, for taking nutrition and engaging with people face to face, she won't score any points as her health condition doesn't impact on her ability to carry out these activities safely, to an acceptable standard, repeatedly and in a reasonable time period. You can find out more about PIP online, including the PIP Assessment Guide at nidirect.gov.uk forward slash PIP. Or, if you have any queries, call the PIP Centre on 0800 587 0932.